Hey everyone, this is Pratik, CMO, co-founder of Fire. This is our update on for the 18th of November on where the tech is, where the research team is going. And just we wanted to share a little bit update from the tech side and from the consensus side of uh, of things because uh, it's very easy for the marketing things to, to take over. But we want to make sure that the tech side of it, uh, the tech side of things is also keeping on getting updated. So I have Zakaria with me, who's our head of our research team. Zakaria, hello there. How are you doing today? Hello, everyone. Hello, uh, five community. So I am I'm pretty fine, Pratik. Thank you. So uh, let's start with uh, an introduction of myself. So I am Zakaria. I am a security for information system engineer. And uh, as well, I am a researcher. Uh, regarding blockchain technologies, cryptography, and uh, intellectual property protection as well, and digital rights management systems. So uh, I am one of, of, of part of, of, of the research team of FIRE. My uh, main focus is on decentralized uh, governance or on-chain governance mechanisms. While uh, I want to update everyone with our status regarding uh, research and development uh, side of, of, of the project, while we will have other pod podcasts uh, about more uh, technical in-depth uh, insights about, about FIRE in general. So how about uh, to make everyone uh, aligned in, in alignment with, with, with what we are doing in what we are aiming to achieve? So we can start with, with uh, a brief introduction to consensus mechanisms and reward distribution mechanisms. So uh, consensus is one of the main building blocks of, of, for blockchain, and it assure, assure uh, the integrity or the validity of, of, of the data inside the state uh, machine, it's, uh, because uh, uh, a blockchain nowadays is considered like a state machine with its own uh, state transition function that move it from uh, a state to another state and that's uh, why blocks uh, are moving or the state of the blockchain is moving from a block to a new block while it's uh, all chained uh, to to form uh, a one source of truth uh, about about the history of, of, of transaction of, of, of transacting activities inside the blockchain However, so uh, the consensus engine part of, of the blockchains uh, are more about how we select node. Uh, they are a verifiable random function. And uh, on top of, 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 of every uh, consensus engine, uh, we can add a logic uh, regarding the finality of transactions. So uh, in previous uh, protocols like in Nakamoto protocol in, in, in Bitcoin, so uh, the, the finality is considered uh, probabilistic and not uh, deterministic while we are seeing that because uh, as a user in a Bitcoin, so I have just a, pro a probabilistic uh, like uh, idea that if my transaction is going to be generated in, in the blockchain or no. So, uh, Right now, uh, the research in blockchain is focusing on adding finality gadgets on top of, 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 of every consensus engine to assure the finality or deterministic finality of, of, of the blockchain that transactions are added. However, with that being said, on top of all, all those stacks, uh, there exist like games or incentive games on top of it. Uh, and uh, this is how we, where reward distribution mechanisms exist. And here we can talk about the proof of work part of, of uh, Nakamoto uh, protocol in Bitcoin, or we can took, uh, talk uh, as well about proof of stakes on top of, 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 of uh, other consensus engines as a game of incentive plans. But however, with that, all of that being said, uh, we noticed that in proof of work and in, in uh, normal proof of stake, there is uh, no mechanisms to 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 uh, resist cartelization, and thus we stay at the for profit paradigm. So, if you are in Bitcoin as example, and you are a miner and you own like ten percent of the computing power, 
So you will end up uh, mining 10% of the blocks uh, inside the ecosystem. And by mining 3%, another 10% of, of the blocks, you are assured of, of your, uh, that you will make 10% more rewards than, than the majority of, of, of the stakeholders. So there is no democracy uh, over, over the distribution of the rewards. We might think about it like uh, if we say that this is an early stage in, in cryptocurrency and in blockchain technologies, so this is uh, like how things grow. But uh, we noticed with time and with years that that this this uh, centralization of power and rewards is doing harm uh, inside the cryptocurrency ecosystems, which is analogical to the harm or the centralization that existed in, in, in real world and current uh, economical models that exist in the world. So uh, Firechain uh, aims to innovate at the consensus level of, of the blockchains. So we come up with our own consensus mechanism that uh, assures either from the voting uh, system of it or uh, also at the distributions of the stakes uh, that there is no cartelization uh, for a particular nodes and we uh, provide fair presentation of all the stakeholders and participation of the stakeholders inside the ecosystem. Uh, but plus on that, so we add in our game uh, incentive theory here, uh, which is like uh, analogical to proof of work or proof of stake. But uh, the more we want to prove, as FIRE want to prove the thesis that if you are doing more good to the world, you are going to end up enjoying more rewards. So instead of centralizing the power or the rewards you will get uh, based on your computational power or on your uh, stake you have in the ecosystem, we come up with uh, an equilibrium or a formula that will ensure that one of the factors will be actually, yes, uh, your stake, but you will have other weights that will be added to you to how the probability of your participation is going to determine to be determined and one of these uh, factors or weights will be determined based on your appliance or of as an organization that owns a, a node that acts as a backend or a validator inside fire chain ecosystem while you provide services regarding ESG and SDG either by data collection or oracle services or trusted execution environment or we can talk as well about uh, self-sovereign identities and so on and so forth. So we judge uh, nodes based on ESG metrics and indices that will be included as one of the weights that will determine the probability of your participation. So it will be like uh, based on stake and based on voting like uh, previous uh, mechanisms, but we added a component to our ecosystem or to our reward uh, distribution mechanism on top of the consensus engine that will add you a percentage more of probability in participation to nodes based on ESG metrics. So, uh, Zakaria, to... uh, so people like me or people who don't understand um, exactly will ask what is the role of the ESGs in uh, in in the deterministic uh, score, in a sense, and how does it affect uh, your overall fire score component? Exactly. So yeah. So uh, uh, to give a brief a brief uh, look or overview about uh, how the ESG uh, scores will uh, act as one of the factors that will make uh, your appliance rewarded in the ecosystem. So uh, we are pulling uh, data uh, from uh, plus 70 ESG uh, 100 uh, endpoints uh, about uh, our participations, uh, our participants in the network. And based on uh, this telemetry data or real-time data, uh, there is EI-based uh, uh, mechanisms that in the uh, uh, like scoring mechanisms that will calculate a dynamic score. Uh, we can make it as analogical to a dynamic score. Uh, in this score, if it's higher than a threshold, uh, will uh, affect 
by a small percentage, uh, your probability of participation at, at authoring blocks. So if you author more blocks, uh, this is the way you will make more rewards. But uh, inside Fire ecosystem, so it's not a for profit paradigm where if you just you have more money at stake, you will. Uh, this is the only way you will have more probability of participation. No, but there is one another component which is your appliance uh, with the ESG metrics, uh, which is environmental and social and governance metrics that will add uh, a portion of the probability. Uh, to, to you to participate because we want to incentivize a growth of the ecosystem that is aligned with, with ESG and uh, with SDG and the vision of the fifth industrial revolution. However, with that being said, we are not uh, exclusive, we are inclusive. So it's not like uh, people with stake uh, are going to make less money or, or things like that because uh, you will, uh, it's a permissionless ecosystem and set up. So everyone has have, 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 have the, the choice to participate. However, if you want to make more money or become a full benefit paradigm aligned, uh, your ESG metrics will determine, uh, will be one of the factors that determine your probability of participation. So in a sense, uh, you can make money, but you will make more money if you're more sustainable. Exactly. Without, uh, like, you are not going to be slashed or, or uh, sanctioned if if if, if uh, you are not aligned. But being aligned will uh, definitely uh, add more rewards to you. Awesome, awesome. Um, can we drill down into what the vision is in terms of because the AI is not going to be uh, the AI is still under um, development in the sense of the concept. Uh, so can you can you um, Drill down a little bit into what we can expect from the from the test net uh, in November, and then uh, what's gonna come later in terms of a roadmap uh, chronological way. Exactly. So uh, yes, because as we mentioned, that uh, fire is is uh, a layer one or, or protocol, or more than that, it's it's an ecosystem. So uh, uh, right now uh, we are at the phase or. Probably we yeah we are we have the making a great advance in our testnet. So the testnet uh, is going to to focus on our on on on, on uh, the selected partners of 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 fire with where the community uh, can participate as well. So uh, fire chain uh, testnet will have. Uh, EVM capabilities uh, to execute smart contracts and uh, web assembly smart contract uh, as well. And uh, uh, the consensus mechanism is going to be rolled out and as well uh, ESG factors and, and this is and this is for the first time I think that uh, we have an equivalent of on-chain and this is in monitoring tooling uh, or sustainability toolings. Uh, so basically the idea uh, of the launch in the testnet is to build the building blocks uh, that the community uh, building blocks that will serve the community to further <coughs> uh, develop uh, on top of it and uh, bringing more in depth to, to the ESG and SDG space and tooling systems for the first time inside the blockchain ecosystem. And uh, we want to bring uh, blockchain technology to SDG and uh, social impact environment. Uh, in the industry in general. Uh, however, with that being said, uh, in the meanwhile, as we focus on decentralization and not like as, uh, I am a little bit disappointed of that, uh, to be honest, like lately, we are seeing projects that promote like uh, speed or, 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 or things like that. Uh, but, uh, it's a little bit getting out of, of the concept of decentralization and what is a uh, blockchain. So uh, if everyone knows that there is a triangular dilemma in blockchain that can't be solved uh, easily, which is speed and security and uh, decentralization. So if you augment speed, you will uh, have less security and less decentralization and so on and so forth. So like uh, some chains we say like lately, 
that have sacrificed decentralization for 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 for, for speed and things like that have failed on that and uh, uh, some of them even uh, stopped working for 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 a couple of hours which 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 is not aligned with what decentralized decentralization is so uh, fire is more than that so fire is an institutional blockchain ecosystem or a fifth and this a fifth and this a fifth generation blockchain so we assure that our our legal legal appliance with jurisdiction and regulation and we want to to bring open source uh, technology in the uh, cutting edge technology regarding cryptography post quantum cryptography into in the encryption uh, messaging and, and collaboration solutions in DAO communities and build the communities of the future. So all of those take all, all of those build basic building blocks to build society 5.0 in the industry 5.0 uh, will be uh, existing in uh, our testnet. Awesome, awesome. Uh, what I want to concentrate on on this this series of uh, of uh, research up- updates is basically like we start with the vision today. and then every two days we will have a video where we will uh, or every two days or twice a week we'll have we'll have a video where we we give you we give these guys an update and then we also talk about one use case so next time maybe we can talk about uh, decentralized uh, naming systems or decentralized identities and um, sure. so that there's something to look forward to in every episode guys um yeah. is, is there anything else you want to say as a karya we can we can close the short upgrade we close this we uh, we, we keep this sweet and short and we do this every two or three days to keep the community updated uh, up and uh, uh, upgraded about the project sure so uh yeah i just wanted like to <clears throat> Uh, to finalize what you said apology uh, to finalize what you said Pratik, uh, uh, that we are going to focus on on uh, updating the community of our uh, research uh, progress and as well <coughs> educating uh, everyone about about decentralized technology uh, which is one of our main focus in our uh, sustainable development goals as well and uh, <coughs> we want to 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 do that like uh, even uh, weekly or, or, or as you say the, in, by today we are going to talk about about other topics that 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 uh, fire research or fire lab is, is is focusing on which is not just consensus mechanism so uh, right now uh, as we talk about legal legal, legal aspect of, of things uh so we we are focusing on 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 innovation in the on chain governance protocols in in the voting mechanisms because right now uh even though we claim decentralization uh, at at the voting we say we just saw this this wave just started of of, of voting in, in decentralized organization things like that but uh, even though they claim uh, decentralization there is high centralization of, of, of authority at those designs so uh, fire uh, is already in the is trying to to, to even improve uh, the existing voting mechanisms and on chain governance mechanisms as well as uh, we focus on building an interoperable future in the scalable future so fire is working and stay tuned uh, at uh, sharding technologies that are aligning with our vision which is uh, micro payments uh, at smart cities or city level or public sector level of 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 uh, that scale of 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 of, of blockchain technologies for vehicular uh, devices and internet of things and uh, those exciting things very well said zakaria that that's basically what it is it is an exciting future uh we are very proud here in the team to be building something that that aligns uh, very closely to the value system of uh, of the world that that needs to be uh and uh, looking forward to talk to you again zakaria in a couple of days then thank you for the update thank and you. Uh, yeah see you see you all very soon bye bye thank you everyone it was a great uh, 